Um, I, I don't I don't know if any of this is going to work, but uh, we'll, well see. Well, one way to find out. Let's do it. Ooh, interesting. On the Slavs, that's interesting. Kilts. All right, so welcome to um, what we hope is <laughs> Thunk Tank. <laughs> The Age of Empires cast. Uh, so today I'm joined here. Well, I'll explain what the hell that means in a moment. <laughs> um, but first, I'd like to introduce my uh, co-caster today and, and fellow gamer, uh, Tommy. Hello, all. I guess that's yes, your podcast name, Tommy. Tommy, yeah. yeah. Let's go with that. That works. Um, so Tommy is a, a longtime fan, longtime listener, and, and contributor to the cast. Contributor and uh, I think longest currently running live audience member. Member, I think that sounds good to me. I think it's still standing. Yeah, that definitely sounds good to me. So today we thought we'd try something a little bit different. Um, by different, I mean uh, unreasonable, and it's probably not going to work. <laughs> uh, but we wanted to talk about um, a video game of ours that um, is near and dear to us. Going back, I, I think now, Oof. geez, like 20 years of this game. Pretty um, much at this point. Yeah. And so this game is, of course, none other than Age of Empires 2. Um, and Age of Empires is a video game series that, that goes back, I think, to like the mid-1990s. And essentially, it's the type of game it is is what what's called an uh, RTS or real time strategy. So rather than like turn based games where like you take a turn and then your opponent takes a turn and so on and so forth, um, in a real time strategy, you, um, you, you play in real time. So, correct. Um, yeah. I, you know what, why, why don't you, you explain for our viewers, like what, what, what age of empires is in a little bit more detail based on that. So there's essentially currently three age of empire games and they, move in chronological order historically. Um, and the first one has a lot to do with the ancient Roman Empire. Um, so Romans, Carthaginians, and alike. Um, this game that we're currently playing and you're watching now is Age of Empires 2, which takes more place in the Middle Ages. So you see a lot of Middle Age civilizations from pretty much across around, around the entire world. They, with the DLC they released, uh, they have what, South Pacific people, um, African kingdoms, um, quite a few more than they initially had, which was, what, like Britons and Byzantines, which are... Yeah, I just realized, too, the fact that we're explaining it. Probably anybody who's listening to this is an Age of Empires fan. That's it, true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't like to make assumptions like that, but... I mean, also, we, we probably don't know what we're talking about when it comes to them. Anyone that hasn't watched this... They'll believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. So what we're trying to do as well is, so again, the, the, the way this game works is you essentially you start on a map with some villagers and like a town, what's called a town center, and you have to try to build up like a little empire. And you can do that by collecting resources like wood and gold and stone. Um, and with those resources, you can do all sorts of things. You can build armies. You can build, you know, little settlements and that sort of thing and uh, try to conquer the other players on the map. So you have these little, you know, characters that go around and you can have hundreds of them. So it's kind of like a, like a world building empire building game. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to record the game that we're playing as like a sample game while we're talking. So if we sound distracted or drifting off or <laughs> what we're saying just doesn't quite make sense, um, we, we apologize for any dead air in advance. We're yeah. going to minimize that to the best of our ability. Well, so we're playing on medium difficulty, which was probably a terrible idea in retrospect. I know you said at the time it was a terrible <laughs> idea in your defense, um, but yeah. it, 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 it's definitely in retrospect a terrible idea. Um, but uh, the, the reason why is because with Age of Empires, it's the ultimate multitaskers game because as i said with all the little characters you have you know there's there's so many of them um there's so many of them that it's you just get distracted very easily it's a lot to uh manage it's it a is. lot to manage yeah cuz you have to manage the villagers who build your economy again with collecting resources then you have to um focus on military yeah and avoid being destroyed pretty much 
and then go um, out destroying others, right? Correct. While well, still managing your villagers. I'm already messing up wildly on this. Like, I know, this is very difficult. Like it's um, real it's really bad. <laughs> like I'm doing all I'm doing all sorts of things wrong. It will actually probably be pretty funny. Did I even set this game to record? I don't even know if it's actually recording. Uh I think I might be recording. And if not, it's gonna be very interesting audio. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I said it to record, but... I think you did. I mean, who knows what I did. I mean, at this point, yeah. Um, so, to begin with, I'd like to ask you um, uh, at least one question so far. Um, what is your earliest first AoE2 memory? Wow, that's a good question. So, AO, Age of Empires, um, particularly AoE2, the first one I've played... Um, retroactively. I don't think I played it like at the time when it came out, but what? Um, yeah. it's pretty much like synonymous with the internet to me. Like, I feel like I um, like when I was a kid, when I was very young, the internet wasn't really a thing. Not until I was like, you know, maybe 11 or 12 years old did we really have it. And that was right around the time Age of Empires came out. Um, so yeah, I kind of have this weird association with it because, um, you know, in some senses it's like an older game. Um, but it's so revolutionary to me because it, it, like, I remember it, you know, coming out and being like blown away that you could do this on a computer. Um, that's just not something that we necessarily always had growing up. So, um, yeah, my earliest memories go back to when it was released, um, in the late night, I think. AOE 2 came out in like the late 90s or something um, and uh, yeah I remember playing it then and it's basically the same game now like they've done expansions but you know it's a lot of the same uh, strategy and in fact the strategies have you know obviously expanded in different ways and that sort of thing so um, yeah I mean I remember it from a very uh, young age what about you? Uh, that's a pretty good first memory. Um, <laughs> so well, I, I, yeah, there's no specific first memory because it goes back to when I was like a, a kid. Like I really can't even pinpoint right. it. I can't yeah. remember um, whether you guys got the game initially when it first came out or a little bit after. Because I remember early on when you guys first got the game and both you and Johnny, the other uh, Thunk Tank um, co-podcaster. Enthusiasts. Um, first got the game and and you guys were so excited playing it and i just remember you guys playing on like a desert map and running around with monks and like i just distinctly remember that being like my first memory of this game and i had to be like well how considering how old the game is i had to be like i don't know older than three years old at the oldest i was gonna say you were probably like a year old when this game originally yeah, came out yeah i was very very young but i have that memory very distinctly that's funny and uh Cause it's such a fun game. <laughs> so what <laughs> stuck with me? What is it about it that's so fun to you, do you that you feel like it's so replayable? There's so many different ways, yeah. so many different uh, opportunities and chances and outcomes that could happen. Yeah. And uh, that's what makes it such a uh, a fun game that uh, still has a huge community or now has a huge community again, and uh, more and more people are playing it nowadays. It's uh yeah, it's getting really popular again, if not already. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely um, that's definitely true because I myself follow like Age of Empires way more than is health a healthy amount too. Um, <laughs> so, for example, there's a lot of like YouTubers who um, either stream Age of Empires or or they record their streams, and as well as uh, people who just make videos. So, Spirit of the Law is uh, oh. basically we call him like the AOT, AOE2 savant because he's just the, the, the ultimate AOE2 mind gamer where he comes up with these videos and talks about all the stra different strategies you can use and he breaks it down mathematically oh, in he insane does, mathematical detail. He does the math. Detail. He does. He, does he has the all the hard. formulas. He has graphs. He has charts. Um, if you're not familiar with him, I strongly <laughs> recommend checking him out. Uh, is very entertaining, especially for new players too. He breaks it down a lot, uh, makes it more understandable. Yeah. So uh, again, it, it's the, there's definitely an element to the idea of replay value, but I think I think even beyond that, um, it's such a big community game now too. Like you you see these videos and and you know people p play even competitively. There's a lot of um, 
money in some of these games. I was just watching the uh, YouTuber uh, T90, and he had he was uh, had streamed a tournament between uh, a couple of players, the, the pretty much the best players in the world. Um, the the top one uh, called the Viper, and I forget I forget off the top of my head who he's playing, but is it Tato or something? No, it was it was it was Doubt. Oh, okay. But um, I think they were playing for like uh, the winner got like two grand. Wow. Well, they were playing yeah. a, a best of twenty one series also. <laughs> that's wild. That, that's wild. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but because games, games for people that don't know, games can wildly vary in time. Some of them can be very quick depending on the strategy by yeah. the other opponent. Sometimes these games are going to go on for a long, long while. A long, long while. <laughs> no, definitely. Um, that's absolutely true. And I mean, they're fun because there's so many different. Again, there's so many variations. There's so many map types and map styles. Um, there's so many different sieves you can play it, play as, um, and it makes a difference like, t like terrain advantage and, you know, mo mobility of units. And there's just literally pretty much endless combinations in terms of directions that, you know, g individual games can go in for sure. And yet some people dominate at it. Like some people are just insanely good at it. Like these professional uh, professional players. I don't know how they do it. They're very good. They're excellent players. Well, some people are... I mean, there are plenty of pro gamers out there. Um, it's true. It's a big business now, and it's only going to get bigger, pro pro gaming. It absolutely is. My friend was showing me a tournament for that new Dragon Ball uh, Z game. It's it's huge. It's it's worldwide. There's like tournaments all around the world now. I Japan, believe it, yeah. Europe, America, Canada... Yeah, I, to um, I totally believe that. It's got like a cult following now, which is great. I, I personally love that series. I'm glad to see they're doing well now. But um, still, if the fighting games are in pro gaming, it's, it's a huge scene nowadays. Yeah, no, definitely. And it it's cool that AOE um, has become a part of that because I, I, I'm sure that there are games that also um, that also have accomplished this, like older games. But... I, AOE is certainly one of the big, bigger ones where you look at um, you you look at how popular it is compared to how old it is, and it's really really impressive. Yeah, it's held up well for age by far. I mean, what did we say? It's like 18, 19 years old. Yeah, definitely. And it still has this huge following. It's a game from the nineties. And we we've heard. I, I don't even know if it's rumors. I think it's pretty official at this point that coming i think next year maybe is a uh, aoe4 right that is happening as well as a remastered version in the second one that we're playing but there's not many details on that but that is happening too uh yes that got like teased i suppose um and then they just haven't said anything since so I don't know what that means. Maybe it's in, I don't know, development hell, or maybe we'll see it someday. It, it must, uh, like, uh, going to be happening, because I, I know people have been talking about it, Age of Empires peoples, you know, in the community, so I, I think it's probably real. <laughs> it's just, so <laughs> a, Age of Empires 3 was really bad. Like, yes. I, have you ever played Age of Empires 3? Um, honestly, I have not. Really? No. It's a terrible game. Happen. It's just really it's it's not a great game. Uh yeah, I've seen it though. I, I see why people complain about it. It's definitely not like this one by any means. It just kinda sucked. <laughs> yeah. Like it it really wasn't great. It just it all of the all the greatness of Age of Empires, it's really in its um I think the idea that it's both playable on the on micro and macro scales. So like when you're playing Age of Empires, you have to think about your your whole picture, like what territories you own and control and what territories you might want to uh, invade into and <laughs> obtain, yeah. Yeah. 
procure. But you have to also manage your farms and your and villagers. And your lumberjacks and this, exactly. that, and the other thing. This, yeah. that, and the other thing. So there's a lot that goes into it in, in that sense. It definitely becomes difficult very quickly. Especially when you're trying to do a podcast episode of it. Yeah. And, and you're not even <laughs> that good at it to begin with. Um, this is tricky. Yeah. <laughs> despite is... despite playing it for uh, for again like twenty years, you know it's funny. I definitely had a hiatus for 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 many years because I just didn't have a PC. I had like shitty laptops. Yeah. Um. So I I just well correct really me if it. I'm wrong. This game did come out on Mac at one point, right? Uh, that's a really good question. There might be a Mac version. I thought you had the game at one point on your Mac. That sounds entirely plausible. <laughs> um, well, I think that's it, though. Is that it? It um, there might have been a Mac version at one point, but I I don't even remember playing that. That's how old this game is. Yeah. That's that's how long it's sort Fair of. Fair enough. Around. Yeah. So it's really hard to do all of what we just said while trying to do like a a podcast as well. But we're we're going for it. We're trying. Uh, I think it's going pretty well so far. <laughs> <laughs> I would say so. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I'm... just wait till I get attacked, and then that'll be the real. Yeah, decision. I'm kind of waiting for for, for another I'm army. Quickly to walling myself in because I'm in. panicking a little bit. I'm panicking hard because I don't think there's much of a chance that I'm, I'm not not <laughs> going to die horribly from this. In this. Yeah. But all, all things considered, I think it's going pretty well. Uh, so we might lose this game. Again, the way that you win is essentially just trying to kill everyone. Is this on Conquest? Uh, it better be. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to uh, kill everyone else. That's the spirit. <laughs> it's good emphasis. Um, so my next question uh, is going to be... God, you have uh, more questions. What your favorite sieve is. And why, if you feel like answering that. <laughs> wow, that's a good question. Uh, my favorite sieve... Or preferred sieves. It could be a few favorite sieves. Well, being, being attacked. Um, <laughs> the, Japanese, no the Japanese are great. Um, the Japanese are fun. I like their trebuchets. They fast pack and all that. Yeah, Japanese are great. Uh, Samurai. You know, I know it's kind of a noob sieve, um, but I really love the Byzantines. Oh, I love the Byzantines. They're my favorite. Yeah, they just have a lot going for them um, in terms, when you think about different scenarios you can find yourself in. They, they really yeah. have a lot of different options. So the Byzantines are great because they're a defensive sieve, but they, they also have everything else that you pretty much want in a civilization. Correct. Yes, they do. They have all the economic uh, bonuses, I believe. Pretty much, yeah. They have an amazing uh, uh, list of like... or. Um, economic technologies like n really not much limitations on the on those which is really cool however you do not find a lot of pro players playing the byzantines why do you think that is um i think it's because like you said they're a very all-around good sieve but i feel like there are other sieves for different strategies like fast rushes and stuff that are better for that or better suited for that yeah um Byzantine's fantastic sieve, uh, especially if you're playing like against computers, which I do a lot. <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> you. It's mostly computers, in fact. I'm not that good. Um, but the uh, Byzantines, they're also a lot of fun to play because they have so many different unit types. Mm -hmm. um, so they're really good post-Imperial as well, I think. Speaking of different unit types, how are you so far ahead of me in score already? Uh, I'm just going to robot mode, man. <laughs> you gotta just do it. I don't know how you do that. Like, I can barely focus to begin with in this game, and you're just like... <laughs> you should have wrote down questions, bro. <laughs> oh, I forgot you wrote down questions. That's right. It's helping a lot. I'm glad I did in retrospect. That was smart. You're wise beyond your questions. Oh, I'm trying. Um, how's Joe Front over there? What's going on? I think I walled myself in. Yeah, I was doing that a while ago. I was panicking, but not in a good way. I mean, like I oh. think I'm, I think I'm trapped. <laughs> oh, I feel trapped inside. <laughs> Wait, in the game or in general? 
We're, what, how much time do you have? <laughs> um, well, it's 29 minutes in, probably at least another 40. I was going to say, uh, so sometimes <laughs> these games can go long. Yeah, they do. <laughs> how many? How, what's your population at? I'm only at 54. Oh, okay. I'm at like 60. Oh, man. I should probably um, build a siege workshop. Yeah, I should too. I mean, I'm the Celts. Celts are a great Civ. I don't know how to play them. That's the problem. One of the best Civs in the game. Uh, see, Siege. So, so uh, getting back to your the question, d did you say which your favorite was? My favorite Civ? Uh, favorite Byzan Civ. Byzantines, maybe. The Byzantines, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're a great classic Civ to play. Celts are actually great because I love Siege. I just love pummeling enemies with absurd amounts of it is pretty fun. um you know fireballs stone fireballs so uh yeah uh, celts are really fun they have really good um siege bonuses they're a great siege civilization so if you want to take down buildings or just large groups of army they're great uh, large uh god i'm tired <laughs> <laughs> i worked it's doing great i worked a lot all week man it's been a long week i hear that man um yeah just came from my second job no my fifth job i lose track fifth job i really do lose track <laughs> yeah last week i didn't know what season it was what does that mean i had no idea what time of year it was i was like <laughs> wait is it may is it is it october is it december is it february <laughs> fair enough i i hear that man it's weird because when you when you're in the sort of position where you have to schedule your future kind of out, like a half a year, a year in advance, you kind of lose track of time and like you lose your sense of it and you kind of wake up like, oh, what day is it? Yeah. It's like, wait, which, which, which month am I in? I don't know. That's just me though. I hear that. So I'm being attacked right now pretty severely. That's not good. Uh, it's not great. Uh, I'm going to try to get some upgrades, though. Ooh, navy, huh? Yeah, I should invest in that. No, I'm going for towers and... Uh, Trushing? I'm going for towers and... Uh, no, I'm just trying to shore up my coast. So I'm going for towers and castles and stuff, that sort of thing. Nice. I just upgraded to guard towers, so now they're a little stronger. Um, I'll probably advance soon. I kind of want more uh oh so you can advance ages in this game which is pretty cool um yeah so why don't you explain that a little bit <laughs> basically when you collect enough research and build enough types of buildings uh, i don't want to have to explain it <laughs> either you get the game or you don't it's great gameplay it spoken like a true aoe veteran yeah you don't love it leave it <laughs> um so yeah, I'm going. I'm going up to the next stage. I'm working on that. I'm pretty much there. I need them resources. And my villagers died. <laughs> it's getting increasingly difficult with every second. It really is. There, there's like a lot going on all of a sudden. Do I want to get all more right. holes? Okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, a lot of quick decisions have to be made in this game. And uh, they'll make or break you, no question. Yeah, they're we'll, breaking. Uh, they're breaking my watchtowers right now. That's not great. No, it's pretty terrible, actually. <laughs> but I'm hanging in there. I'm trying, yeah. doing what I can. So yeah, I'm being attacked on my eastern front right now. And Tommy is. How are you doing over there? Uh, we're cruising. Not not many problems. Knock on wood. Yeah, I was gonna say, be careful there, buddy. Yeah, I'm building double walls. Double walls are a good investment. Why don't you tell the good people why double walls are a good investment? <laughs> um, so double walls are never a bad idea if you can afford it, because what's better than one wall? Two walls. That's that much more uh, time. It's going to save you for the enemy to have to break down and that is an build up your army. That is an excellent set of sentences. Well, well said. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> it is something. <laughs> um, okay, next question. 
<laughs> I, there is no next question. <laughs> um, okay. What, in your opinion, <laughs> do you think the most important tech is or line of techs? That's a really good question because economy techs, technologies are really important um, because they, they give you the, the resources to get be able to get more techs, right? Yes. Like, it's kind of useless to have, um, you know, to just keep going into the military if they're not upgraded because they'll, they're, they'll just die eventually. Yeah. And it's always a sad time when you find yourself uh, discovering that you forgot you built a blacksmith and forgot to upgrade all your units. Like is that is 30, that is that 40, what you just realized? Fifty minutes into the game, uh, not f this game, fortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Although that I can or have to admit that has happened quite a few times. You're probably not <sighs> not the only one who that's happened with either. Um, speaking of which, I was just watching a T90 video. Another shout out to Great Age AOE. I didn't know that you Remember? watched T90. Um, here and there I do. Like uh, when I was waiting to start this tonight, I decided to brush up on my AOE terminology. And uh, he was doing this, or not doing, he was watching, or what does he do? He kind of dubs over replay videos or something? He commentates. Uh, commentates, yeah, that's it. Um, so he's commentating this 1v1 expert match. Um, and it's between these two pro players. Mm -hmm. And this one pro player decided to try out this technique, you could say, um, which isn't always recommended, but when it works, it's fantastic. So what it is, is, let's see if I could do it. Oh boy, what are you up to? You type that in. What I typed in is, has advanced to the feudal age or castle age. Or oh, that's age. sneaky. You write that, that's and if you write it a certain fuck. way, it'll come up with the white font overhead, and it won't come up with your color. So when you do that, the other player is going to panic. In this case, the other player was Spanish, and he was encircling uh, with his scouts around the other player's base, and he was about to find him. And right before he found him, he typed that in, and it looked like he advanced the feudal age, um, but he didn't. He was That's still in sneaky. the dark age. That's really so the sneaky. other guy panicked and retreated, although he had way more troops and could have just annihilated that guy. He retreated and panicked and built walls all around his sieve and wasted all that time and resources, giving the other guy the time to actually get to the feudal age and start to catch up. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, he does the trick again. And, uh, well, I got to say, it worked uh, pretty well. That's that's sneaky. I really like that. Very sneaky. Um, I I've not heard of that trick. I hadn't either until then. It, it makes sense. Like, why wouldn't you do that, right? Well, his argument T90s was um, in a game like this, they don't usually look at the chat anyway, so they'll just see something like that quick, and then be like, okay, they're they're futilized, and they just react instantly. Me, I play slow. I got my statistics up in the bottom right of the screen. I, I'm yeah. always looking around, scanning, skimming, I hear that. seeing what's going on. Um, yeah, for me, know. for me, I sort of have to. Um, right. I'm not a very good player. I should probably mention that as well. Like, I don't think of myself as a good player of this game. Yeah, me neither, by any means. I just um, really love it. But that's probably true for a lot of people who play this game, right? Yeah. It's a very fun game. Uh, a lot of people could play it. Uh, especially on the easier difficulties. It's not that difficult. Like, the campaigns are very, very fun. Um, they're not all historically accurate, but they're a lot of fun to play. How dare you? <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot that battle. What's the name of that battle? That uh, what's his face? Uh, the Battle of Nonsense More. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, great battle. <laughs> that does even lead, lead into another huge question. battle. What is your favorite campaign and why? And what's your least favorite oh. campaign? I really like the the one off campaigns. So like, where oh it's just the like, yeah, you could do like specific battles and that sort of thing. Like those were always fun. Um, we used to me, me and Johnny growing up used to play a lot of those. Those were always good. Um, I actually I really enjoy the historical campaigns. Historical campaigns are fun, and some of them they're they're not that bad in terms of the history. Like yeah, no, some of them are pretty good. 
Yeah, I mean, in general, they're not great, but... Um, or they're not perfect, but some of them are, are pretty good, actually. Yeah, I, I, I let me rephrase. I didn't mean to detract from all of AoE's history. Um, so you're saying it's like, trash, huh? <laughs> there's a few things here and there that aren't um, solid, but overall, it's a very... It's a very fun game, especially if you're interested in history. I strongly suggest you check it out if you haven't already. Um, at least for me, I think this is a... Actually, I do think this is a big thing in my life that kind of pushed me towards history. Because I played this at a young age, and it was a lot of fun. That's interesting and, uh, slash sad. Tell us more about that. <laughs> um, well, I am fascinated with history. Yeah. Um, I am... Engaged in the field of education and history currently. Um, you sound like and, such a nerd. <laughs> that's the idea, right? It is the and, idea. Um, it's a fine idea. I uh, I had a lot of influences growing up with uh, histor historical games or movies or this, that, and the other thing that I just found really interesting. Um, case in point, this game, which I played a lot. Um, so... That's why I'm not great, but like I know my I know the layout and like what I'm working with. I know the cards in my deck in this game because I've been playing this game for years. Mm. Um, but I just don't have the wherewithal to be good. <laughs> I, I, I hear that it's a whole thing to be good at a game. Like I have my footing, um, feeding. I don't know what the, how that works. Um, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. I lost my train of thought. I lost my train of thought. It's a great game. And with that, we have our first abdication. Abdication. Oh, I, I just killed a guy. You did? Yeah. I did. Uh, I thought it would be way harder than that. All right. Apparently it wasn't. That's great. <laughs> yeah. That is great. All right, so I attacked, and uh, I won because I'm great. <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than that. It's fabulous. Oh, well, now his just, this guy's allies are fighting me. Ooh. That's not great. No, none, of, none of it's fantastic, to, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, but I have a pretty good economy going. I'm pretty satisfied with everything. Uh, yeah, we're making moves here. I'm amazed we're doing as well as we are, to be entirely honest. You know, I think it's all those years of experience are kicking in right now. <laughs> and it's just... I'm channeling it. You're channeling hard? Sure. Let's go with that. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, well, I just I just killed a dude, so that's that's something. That's nice. A start. That's great. Um, yeah, so it's it's a good game. Buy it. Buy it. Give them your money. Oh, shit. These guys have a big navy. Well, I have, I have crappy doing? towers. That was a bad investment. Chinese. Oh, boy. Investing in towers was not a good idea. Towers? Oh. Probably not. Considering I'm not a towers of. <laughs> Onchers are expensive. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, mine all died because I... I, uh... Oh, my whole army died because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was nice while it lasted. Well, they mostly died because I, uh, I, um, <laughs> go God, on. I'm so, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so tired. Um, they died because I was worrying about everything else going on on this damn map. Hey, at least this isn't ludicrous. Oh, thank God. Ludicrous size map is, is not going to work for me. <laughs> so Ludicrous is a certain size map, which, in fact, is the largest of any of the maps. And uh, it wasn't in the original game. It came out with the uh, release of the HD. And uh, the biggest map in the original game was Giant. And that map was tremendous. It was huge. It would take so long to get across it. Are you it, done, it Tommy Trump? Very big. It was the biggest map. Until Stutter. Ludacris came on. Uh, because Ludacris is, uh, what is it, four giant maps put yeah. together, essentially? It really is Ludacris, considering the, the normal size that it's supposed to be, yeah. Most definitely. 
So we usually we've played on Ludicrous not in a while actually because it's the games it's take much. so long. It is a bit much. Well, they're exhausting games. Is the they problem? Are. You gotta you gotta have your schedule clear for those games. Absolutely. Um, so I, I I rarely have the wherewithal anymore for for those types of games. <laughs> I mean they're fun, but it's it can be pretty exhausting, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. I gotta be like getting snowed in for that kind of commitment. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So how are things uh, doing in in your empire? Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a really high pitched. Okay. Yeah. It's not what's, terrible. What's going on with that? Oh, we're doing okay. Yeah? Nothing nothing crazy. All right. Just building up the eco and uh, building up defenses. Nice. I'm pushing forward with my siege right now. That's good. It's good one of us are doing that. So, yeah, Slavs have... Slavs are a great sieve. They have a lot going for them. They have really, uh, good, really good siege. Yeah, I don't know. What, what's going on with the Slavs? I don't know much about them. Uh, well, they have really good siege. They have really good economy. So something that you want when you have siege is you want to have a good economy because if you don't have a strong economy, siege is so expensive. Mm. So without a, a strong economy, it's it's hard to sustain. It can, it can almost not matter, right? Like if you have, you can have the best units in the world, but if you can't afford to build them, to train them, uh, what's the point? It's an exercise in futility, you know? Right. Um, so, yeah. Uh, siege. Very important because it's it's dominating. Like, you can kill people really easily with Siege. But, again, it, it takes a large economy to sustain that. And Slavs are really good. They have a, a pretty much a full economy tech tree. Really? Uh, I did yeah. not know that. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty big. Yeah, the only thing they don't have is stone shaft mining and guilds. Hmm. Um, so I mean, I don't I don't trade a whole lot when I play, anyways. So it's not a huge deal to me. Hmm. But um, the siege bonuses are pretty cool. So c civilizations get different siege bonuses. So this the farmers also work fifteen percent faster. Siege workshop. Oh, that's shops, big. And siege workshop units cost fifteen percent less. Ooh, that is big. Is that a team that bonus? <laughs> uh, I don't know what their team bonus is. Their I'm team bonus. Quick. Ooh, their team bonus is military buildings provide oh, plus that's five pretty population. Cool. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome, actually. Castles are what. 25, 30 in that case? Uh, let me see here. Uh, no, I think they all just give like five extra unit, like, you know, five extra population regardless of the type. So well, Alright then. I'm building up a pretty good army here. Oh, oh wow! They're dropping like flies. They really are. Yellow's dead. Uh, orange is dead. So we still have light blue, purple, and gray. Oh, and here they come. The terrifying thing about siege is that you oftentimes wind up killing your own team or your own units as much as you kill the enemies. Yeah, more often than not. But it's still so devastating for that reason. <laughs> Just kind of clears the field of all units. It really does. You gotta be careful with them. Yeah, I have really good infantry too. This is, a, this is an interesting civilization to say the least. This cheaper units thing is pretty great, too, though. Gauging the enemy. Here we go. Yep, so mine is all over the map. Uh, I'm definitely killing their units, but they're definitely killing mine. Taking out their docks. Moving along. This isn't too bad.
Okay, okay. Yeah, so they sent in an army, and uh, I killed most of everyone, <laughs> basically. <laughs> well, that's good. It was actually pretty entertaining how fast everybody died in that scenario. <laughs> but more of them than me, so that's That's, that's always good. great. Well, it's always key, right? That's key. I, I would say so. I, I like to think so. Uh, so yeah. they're... So, I, yeah, my army's doing pretty good. I, I got a pretty big army. But they're facing a lot of uh, cavalry now, which is interesting. Cavalry's probably the best... Uh, or, in some ways, they can be the best units because they're so uh, versatile. Like, they're so strong, yet they're so fast. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm listening. To you. Sorry, I just engaged purple. Oh, are you on water? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I did not bother going on water. Um, I ran out of things to say. There's too much going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so most important text covered. Favorite campaign covered. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you got something else? <laughs> I don't know. Do you have a preferred style or a preferred uh, unit? Do you like cavalry over uh, archers or infantry? These are, these are actually pretty good Age of Empires questions, I must admit. Thank you. I'm actually quite, quite impressed. I just thought of them 30 seconds before the cast. <laughs> That's great. Oh, you're killing it. Yeah, um, not. I really like cavalry just because they're so tanky. Like you can do, They are so um, impactful. So I'm a big cavalry fan, but more and more, I'm a big siege fan. Like, I really like, you know, just being able to destroy an enemy with, like, massive amounts of siege weapons, like stone throwers and that type of thing. Yeah. So, I, you know, it's it's difficult to say, but... Because different scenarios, too, you'll want a different, you know, composition of units. Um, you know, that makes sense. Like, if you're going up against... A bunch of archers you probably want fast cavalry that can go in and hack them up or siege that can take out a bunch of weaker archer units right so depending on what civ you're playing against too that definitely makes a difference in terms of what, um, what your approach is Absolutely. yeah what, what units you choose to use for sure yeah, yeah. i couldn't agree 100 percent. you couldn't agree 100 percent. that's <laughs> you not know a, what i mean that's i couldn't not. agree more I couldn't agree more 100%. I missed a word in there. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> it's late. I'm tired also. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, We're doing this for you people. We love you. I don't know if anybody's actually listening. Uh, I, if I don't, they do, we love you. I, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if we'll be able to post it. <laughs> in all honesty. so. I'm, I'm, it's just method acting here. Is, is that what we're calling it? Sure. Method casting. This is the name of a, 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 a podcast right there. Method casting. Method casting. Isn't Dude, that that's that? brilliant. I like it. I'm a fan. <laughs> Thank you. Although I am running low on resources. This is not great. So I'm going to have to build some panic lumberjacks because I'm running... I'm not running low on food or wood. I'm just using it up so quickly because there's so much violence. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of just glass and silver or gray. That works. Whatever they prefer to be called. Yeah, you got a nice strategy going on there. It's working. I like my strategy of rampant siege that just kills everybody. <sighs> so... Anyways, <clears throat> really great game. Dare I say, a game for the ages. Huh. <laughs> That's very good, Joe. I'm glad you... I hope, I hope you were saving that. I hope you feel as, as disappointed as you sound, actually sound. Yeah, that and I'm trying to mow down people with Honigers. Fair enough. Um, wow, it's really working. These onagers are amazing. I told you, dude. Celtic Siege is, is where it's at. 
Wow. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you wow. got it. Wow. I kind of feel bad. Why do you feel bad? Because they didn't just stand a chance. <laughs> Fair enough. That's a good reason to feel bad. Um, I'm going to attack these fuckers because somebody needs to die now. Um, yeah, so it, there's a lot of, uh, again, there's a lot of versatility in terms of, you know, different matchups of different civilizations. Um, <laughs> that's basically it. <laughs> that's a good half thought. I got nothing. <laughs> He's got nothing. Um, what's your favorite AOE memory? My favorite AOE memory. What's uh, some crazy shit that happened, or I don't know. I'm trying to think, I used to make a lot of scenario scenarios, um, like when I was a kid. Like I would make uh, the Battle of Helm's Deep. Nice. And and set up set up like you know the terrain and stuff to look like that. So little things like that were always fun and memorable. Or when I was younger, I made like a like a uh, you know Lord of the Rings maps or just like other fantasy world maps. So I I think I think those memories I I, I really like that because you're able to take a creation from one realm and kind of apply it on another. I think that's pretty cool. That's cool to be able to do. So what about yours? It's funny. You mentioned that I did something very similar, but I did it with the elder scroll series from, uh, um, Bethesda. Uh, I rebuilt oh. Cyrodiil in a map Oh, that's cool. and I built it on a giant map and then I built it on a ludicrous map and the ludicrous map took so long to make. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> but I put a lot of detail into it, and I was pretty proud of it. It was a lot of fun um, to make. But when I first got AoE 2 HD, like in 2014, 2015, yeah. when it first came out, um, I was like, oh, my God, AoE, I haven't played this in years. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I proceeded to tack on, like, 100, 200 hours in, like, the matter of, like, a, a, a few months at the longest and uh, I was just addicted. It was so much fun. I just play like Black Forest all the time, and uh, it was a lot of fun. It's just a fun game. I can replay it all the time. I, I mean, I'm at almost at 500 hours now. I think. How can I check this? Uh, 498 hours. I'm almost there. Wow. So is, this is since you got like the uh... the HD version. The HD version. And how old is the HD version now? 2014, I think. Really? Yeah, I guess it has been around that long. I hadn't thought of thought of that, but <laughs> um, yeah, because I, I like I said, I keep forgetting how how many iterations of this game there kind of have been. Uh. What was that? <laughs> yeah, um, but. I mean, as we said earlier, this game it just won't die. People love it. Keep coming back to it. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I have I have a great time with it. Could you uh, think of any questions throughout this? or Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> at least you're honest. Hmm, let's see. Could it imperialize some gold? This game's all about imperializing. You gotta claim resources early. Or, uh, you won't make it. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm dying hard. Oh, yeah, I'm out of gold. Crap. It's not great. I tried to build a castle. That didn't work. Oh, our orange is done, too, huh? Who's left? Then I killed the rest of my oh. military. That didn't work. Oh my god, yeah, you're all the way out there. Yeah, but they're all dead. Well, that's not great. It's not ideal, no. <laughs> I, that was a very failed attempt on my part. Luckily, I have a ton of onagers. So that's going to count for something, but they're they're all about to die. Alright, well, I'm going to send my navy to help out. Oh, because purple's still alive, so they're kind of teamed up against me. Yeah, I'm sending my navy against purple. 
help out. I mean, I have a pretty good army makeup. It's, um... It's, it's Siege and, and uh, Pikeman. Which is pretty cool. I just, like, I tried to get a castle up and didn't take. Hmm. I didn't realize Orange already resigned. I would have built the front a little bit closer. He's dead. <laughs> dead, I tell you. You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm scared. Is there a castle I'm still Also there? not technically right. So I need to revamp my economy because I tried to kill these guys and I got my ass beat. That's not great. Yeah, my my whole army is dead. It's just them, I think. I mean, I did a pretty good job, a pretty nifty job, like, um, messing them up. It's just the rest of my guys died. <laughs> <laughs> so I made some, I made some bad mistakes there, honestly. What'd you do? Uh, I, wrong. I didn't send in enough villagers to build like a forward base. So my my villagers got taken out. Mm. Yeah. Which is a shame because I wasted all the stone on a castle that's now just slowly dying. Because it's not built. It's just like the foundation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's awful. It's a nightmare. It's horrible. It's terrible, I tell you. Well, there's always next siege. It's always next siege, correct. Oh, man. They're actually doing a terrible job at, like, killing my castle, which is kind of reassuring. And I'm just going to build a siege workshop in their town and start turning out more siege, because why not? That's the spirit of the law. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I've had fun on this episode. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's uh it's gone okay. If in fact it is an episode. <laughs> hasn't been terrible though. It's been okay. Hasn't been great, hasn't been terrible. Somewhere in the middle perhaps? Somewhere in the middle. I think you're that, right. That would be fine. I would I would accept that. I would accept I would accept average yeah. any day of the week. I would absolutely accept mediocre. Mediocre. <laughs> absolutely. Well, I think we're we're close to killing them, or at least I feel like I'm pretty close to killing them. Uh, yeah, you you really went at them. Wow. My sea janitors are taking a while to get over there. That's the problem. But uh, I'm marching them straight there. Because I don't want to wait any longer. And, uh, yeah. Getting there. Slowly but ragily. Slowly but ragily, exactly. Um, yeah. So I'm in their base again, because I built... Built a forward base? Yeah, nice. I built a bunch of forward bases. Oh, yeah, you got that locked down. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm in there. Take base out now. their villagers. Yeah, I think it's only a matter of time now. They're sending gold miners by you. Cause so my strategy here is to just keep building barracks forward, and as I do that, just you know, kind of spam them. It's not a bad idea. I've had worse ideas. <laughs> I've definitely had worse ideas. Um, I think it's pretty solid. That's ah, fine. I'm having a great time. I don't know about you all. <laughs> I don't know. I got to thank whoever's still listening if this ever reaches the light of day. <laughs> if, um, if, if and when this ever airs. <laughs> you show true thunk. Thunkedication. Thunkedication, yeah. No, that's a word. <laughs> I'm glad you know what I'm trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. Whether, whether or not humans know what you're trying to say is a, an entire other matter altogether. Ah, uh, yes, of course, fellow human. Exactly. <laughs> I, 
Um, yep, I got him to abdicate. So we're we're in the end stretch here. We've defeated most of our enemies. Um, there's only, I think, like one or two left, right? We're down to one. Uh, just one, yeah. Yeah, we're down to the final one. So I'm just building whatever at this point, having a good time. I'm sending in two uh, long swordsmen. Because why not? You know, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, pretty much. You better believe it. I mean, he's still in Castle Age. He's done. So I think the fact that we can get this distracted <laughs> is a good sign, too. Yeah, it means we're getting better. For sure. Well, I just mean of how good of a game it is as well. That, too. You know, it's like I'm fairly not paying attention to both the game and paying a lot of attention to the game at the same time, I feel like. Yeah. I'm trying to take down this castle. And oh, you're, kind of you're in his, you're in his base. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So yeah he's no, he's dead. done. I just took out his entire army. With monitors. I'm surprised he hasn't abdicated yet. Uh, yeah. So this has been a fun game. Uh, I I hope you know whoever's listening um, learned something, took something away from it. What do you hope they learned? The good people, uh, are. or at least laughed. Something. Oh, there we go. We, we got the game. There we go. I think we Watch did pretty monitors. good. We're just raining hellfire down. I think we did pretty base. good. I mean, considering I was trying to explain the history of Age of Empires. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. You did well with those questions. I give uh, you credit. I'm glad you wrote the questions. I wouldn't have thought of that. Uh, pretty <laughs> good pretty good map. I was able to wall. Yeah. Yeah, I walled off quick and early, but the, to be there. honest, nobody even attacked me. I think they were kind of busy on the other side. Thankfully. And that will happen sometimes when you play... Multiple players, obviously. Um, let's go to the achievements here. So I had the high score. Yeah, definitely killed it in the military. Wow. Yeah, I killed a lot of the economy. Units. I destroyed a lot of buildings. It did. I think I had wow. by far the highest population too. What was your population by the end? Uh, I don't know. I think it was two something. 220 oh, yeah. or 240. Oh, I was at 300. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was the max pop for this game, so. I was starting to run out of gold, to be honest. I was I was mining it, but, like, I, all of a sudden I was like, oh, I don't have any gold. <laughs> yeah, I built I built a lot of trade as well. I think I got, yeah, 5,500 in trade, which is pretty good. Wow. Yeah. That's a fair amount of trade. You, you won the Feudal Age race? I got the uh, Imperial Age one. Yeah. I mean, that was a good game for me. Anybody who's watching who's like an actual Age of Empires player, like who's good, they'll be like, oh, they're oh, just laughing. They're just these, laughing. These at noobs. This. These noobs <laughs> dying while they lure bore. But honestly, if you're a pro player and you're still listening, I'm, I'm humbled. And I thank you. <laughs> There's no pro pa players <laughs> listening. For painstakingly watching this entire video. All right, I'm going to call it. <laughs> yeah, it's time to end it. Uh, yeah, well, uh, let me just say uh, like, share, and subscribe. Always. Oh, my God, we're at 59 minutes and 35 seconds. We can end it before an hour. Let's do it. All right, so uh, thanks for joining us, and if this is real life, and uh, if so, we'll uh, we'll play you sometime. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Yep. Yeah, all right, uh, me too.